everybody welcome back to my youtube channel if you were just passing by and you decided to click on this video that let me even see what this girl is up to you made a very good decision the best decision that you ever make today and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back again the lord will come back again into your life in the name of jesus <laughs> My mother, anything like this, they would just spiritualize it. All these African mothers, like, for example, if she said that, Oh, hello, how are you today? If I say I'm fine, she'll say, All the glory be to God. To God be the glory. May the name of the Lord be exalted forever and ever. Like I said, my name is Blessing, and today I'm in a gym, empty gym. You guys, empty gym is totally my vibe. It's not like I don't want other people to work out though. They can work out, but on days like when I want to film or record myself at the gym, maybe create contents that I want to put on my Instagram page. By the way, follow me on Instagram at Miss Basemate. I post a lot of fitness content and lifestyle and general, general things. Mm -hmm. Let me not digress too much. When I want to feel myself like that, I'm not feeling like people are looking at me. And they're not really looking at me, but I just feel like they're looking at me. So, oh, with empty vibe, I don't have to overthink who is looking. Eh? I say empty vibe. Empty gym. <laughs> I don't have to overthink who is looking or who is not looking. You people, this November is ending so soon, ending very soon, and I'm looking forward to so many things as the month is ending. I'm looking forward to Black Friday sales. What I say? Black Friday sales. Again, Black Friday sales. Ah, I don't they save money, save money because this Black Friday sales, I'm looking forward to getting things from some of my favorite brands. And if you look at me closely, if you look at me very, very well, you will notice something different about me. Hmm. What is different about me today is that normally when I'm going to the gym or if I want to work out, I don't used to wear jewelry because why am I wearing jewelry? Why? Why? Should be able to lift weights. What was the point of wearing jewelry? What is the need for jewelry? But today, I want to show off my Ana Luisa necklace. Every opportunity I get to show off my Ana Luisa, I'm going to grab it by fire, by force. So this is me using this opportunity to show off my jewelry and to tell you that this coming Black Friday sales, Ana Luisa is going to be having the biggest sale of the year. If you are looking forward to also shopping Black Friday items, particularly jewelry, trust me, Ana Luisa is the best place to visit. You get up to 30% discount when you shop. Why did I do like this? You get up to 30% discount when you shop with my personalized link. That would be in my description box. Let me show you some of the things I got recently from them. And oh my god, I'm I'm wowed. Cute packaging as usual. First, before I even show you the rest, just look at this one I'm wearing. I don't have anything like this, so I picked this and I really like it. Let me tell you something that I've not told anybody before. My husband wants this particular one as well. So I'm just going to order the same type for him because I don't know what if... I don't want to give him this one because what if on a day that we're both going out and I feel like wearing this one and he also feels like wearing it. So it's just better to get another one. So that's just what I'm going to do. I got this. You know why I got this. I do not own a silver piece from Ana Luisa. So I'm like, let me get a silver piece. I love this so much. This as well. I don't have anything like this. So yeah. In case you want to shop exactly like this one. This one is called Inner Bold. Another thing I'm excited about as November is ending is Cree, 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 Christmas, Christmas is coming, but nobody to buy Christmas clothes and Christmas shoes for us. We are grown, no? adult life, adulthood. This time, that year, when we were still small, though that measured our leg with broom to get our shoe size, buy Christmas clothes for us. What? what? It's part of life. Growth is part of life. Anyways, before I waste all my calories, and energy on talking 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 let's get right into the business of the day we're working our glutes today today's a lower body day for me particularly the glutes so i'll be working the glutes today and i'm going to be showing you my top three exercises for glutes workouts in case you don't know what glutes is glutes is the other name of bum bum so we're working bum bum today my top three exercise first one has to be sumo squats i really really love sumo squats start light light is relative so my own lights might not be a light for like a beginner and that's very fine. So I start light and then as I get into my final set, I go heavier. It's called progressive overload. But I don't want to bore you with all these terms and terminologies and whatever. I'm just trying to say that I might not do all of the sets on this video because I don't want to bore you. So we're starting with sumo squats. I, I say so, 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 so much. 
So, sumo squat, so, sumo squat. We're starting with sumo squat. You start with your legs wide open, toes slightly pointed out, and then you go down and drive up. Starting with a 40 kg dumbbell, you are going to be holding the dumbbell like this. Like this. So, let's go. Legs open wide, toes slightly point out, and we go one, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, mm -hmm, seven, three more, eight, up, nine, up and ten for more tension you can hold it at the end hold the squat for some seconds you're going definitely going to feel the bone just the way i'm feeling it right now so yeah that was my first set of sumo squats this is my last set i'm going in with 70 kg dumbbell please it is okay to start with whatever weight is convenient for you. As you progress, you get better. You'll be able to go heavier as you keep progressing. I've been working out for over two years now. So if you're a beginner, don't be under any pressure to go straight into lifting heavy. Okay, my last set, 70 kg. Yeah, let's go. One and off. Two, up. Three, up. Four, up, five, up, six, whew, seven, whew, eight, Jesus Christ, nine, and last one, I'm going to hold it, hold the squat, whew, are you counting for me, cause my head right now, yay, Ooh. The bone, the bone, the pain, the torture. What is it? Haven't you done enough? My next oh, go to exercise for glutes, they would require a bench. So I'm going to bring a bench in here. I'll be doing Jelly Bulgarian split squat and assisted RDL. Okay, yeah, let's do that. My bench is here now and I think we're ready to go. Let's do assisted RDLs. Normally, the Regular RDL, every time I do it, it just feels weird. I've heard a couple of people say RDL is very hard to get, like it's very hard to get the form, but once you get it, you get it. I feel like I'm still struggling with getting it, or it's just my head, like when I'm looking at myself doing it, I look, I feel weird, and then when I see it, like when I watch the video, I kind of also feel like something is wrong here, so I always just go for the assisted RDL. But let me show you, don't laugh, oh. you know I told you I used to feel weird when I do normal RDL. So be the judge. I know that. Once you get your dumbbell, yeah. When you get your dumbbell, can you see me? Can you see me? Let's shift this one back. I want to stand in front of the mirror so I can see what I'm doing. Knees slightly bent, then you are going to inch, inch, and then up. I feel so weird. Inch is like I don't even know how to inch inch and by the time you feel it in your arm strength you go up well it just feels weird so instead of that i do the assisted rdl which requires you putting one leg on the bench you're typically doing the same thing as the regular rdl but one leg is going to be on the bench and then it helps you to just inch and up Oof. i can feel it already I'm not counting, no. I'm still showing people how to do it. So once you are done with the first leg, you switch position. The leg that was down before is now going to be the leg on the bench so that you can walk this leg. So again, inch and up. The third exercise is going to be Bulgarian split squats. This is arguably not everyone's favorite. Some people like it, some don't. Some people like me only like it because I know that it actually really does the work, but it's not 
the most interesting exercise but i like it like i said it does the work and i remember when i started my fitness journey it was one of the things i was doing regularly in fact the first time i registered in a gym one of the exercises that the instructor showed me to do was bulgarian split squat so it was something that was introduced to me at the very beginning so somehow i'm just like very I'm just like used to it already. It's not really a function of if I like it or not. I know that it does the work and yeah, so Bulgarian split squats. Let's do this. You can either do with one dumbbell, just go down with one, or you can hold two dumbbells on each of your hands. I'm going to hold two dumbbells just for more intensity. Starting with 25 for this as well. As I go on in my set, I'm going to increase my weight. Okay, let me show you the form first before we use the weights if you are starting with your right leg please keep it in your brain that's your right leg because trust me you'll be confused like which leg am i doing next which leg did i start with if you are starting with your right leg you are going to put your left leg on the bench and remember i said today we're working glutes so you are going to step forward so that i hope i'm in the frame you can when you are going down you lean forward for you to work your glutes but if you want to work your quads, you are not going to lean forward and you might not go as far. You can just maintain a straight body. Oh, I feel it in my quads to work your, your, to work your quads. But today, we're working glutes, like I said. So you're going to step forward and then make sure you're leaning forward as you're going down. So it's really just a up and down movement. I just worked my right leg now if i want to walk my left leg which is the next one after completing the right leg i'm walking my left leg now i'm now going to put my right leg on the bench move forward body tilted forward and then you go down up down let's do this with the weight i'm starting with my left leg i'm going to walk my left leg first so if you are walking your left leg you put your right leg on the bench your body is tilted forward because you're working your glutes and then you go down and up down and up slow and controlled i don't want to see you doing this so <laughs> no <laughs> you really have to engage the muscle you are working on so you do that by going controlled and slow so down Whew. I feel it like mad. Down and up. Let's do the other leg now. I just walked my. You see what I said? It's always confusing. Like, you just finish it. Na, 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 na. I'm already. You are in disarray. Which leg did I just do? Which leg am I doing this? This was the leg that was on the bench, Abby. Okay, so the next leg that will be on the bench is this one. Got it. Let's go. Down. Up. <sighs> Two, three. Let's go to four, two, one. four, five. Oh my god! Oh gosh! Oh, that was intense. I didn't rest before going into the next leg. Well, if you really want to feel it, feel it. Don't rest between the legs you can rest after doing right leg and left leg but sometimes i used to rest though when i finish right leg i rest if i now go to left leg you know easy so yeah i think i'm done no i'm not done actually i'm done for this video when i click when i click on stop on this video now i'm going to finish up my sets then i'm going to stretch it's very important to stretch after your exercises after your routine to reduce injury and to you know um improve recuperation recovery so that's it for today see i do like this like egg mio around romeo in english that means help me my body is paining me my body is not paining me actually it's normal for you to feel what you are doing like in your body at the moment you are doing it but it's nothing crazy when it gets crazy if, if you try a new weight for the first time or a new exercise for the first time you feel the pain for like 48 72 hours because you're introducing something new to your body but yeah that's this is the end of this vlog thank you for watching do you know i really want to try to 
put out more fitness content but i don't know how i can make it informative and fun at the same time i don't just want to i don't know sure whichever way it goes i know there are people that don't mind like people that are like really fitness fitness inclined they don't mind like just watching you do an exercise but for people that are not like really fitness inclined they still want to see that part of lifestyle in your vlogs not really concerning with fitness and that is okay i'm not i'm not asking anybody to change anyways thank you for watching my vlog don't forget to check the link in my description box to shop Ana Luisa, these Black Friday sales, please take good use of this opportunity because if you miss this one now, if you miss this one now, I don't know for you. So yeah, look at it, still sitting pretty. Thank you for watching my vlog. I'll see you in another vlog. Goodbye and happy new month in advance because we're ending November now and entering December. Merry Christmas in advance. Bye. So tell you down, down. I can't get it now, now.